Um, the first thing we'd like to do is just a very short exercise. Um, with COVID over the past year and a half, we have been working in virtual working groups more than we've ever done before. So I'd like everybody to take a second and in the chat, just chat some of the frustrations that you've had uh, working virtually and some of the um, benefits that you've had uh, working virtually. Okay, so now we're starting to get some frustrations, um, people not being available when, when they're needed, um, IT issues, not being able to get to the files that you need, a benefit is no long commutes or working with people you typically couldn't work with, creating new habits, um, just different different interfaces with all these different telecom systems. So um, you can see there are lots of frustrations and there are also um, lots of benefits. So some of the common issues that we've seen are, are just things like management, managing configurations to your documents. A lot of people updating a lot of different things in a lot of different places. Um, not adding people to all the meeting notices or 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 you know meeting a minute and meeting missing a meeting and not being able to catch up um, you can't find the documents you need you're looking through endless emails to try and find stuff and these issues expand when you know you're working with people from different organizations you don't even have a common common infrastructure for um, documents and things like that if you're geographically distributed and especially when um, everyone is a volunteer and nobody really has the responsibility to um, set up that infrastructure. But working groups are really a critical part of the Alliance. Uh, the working groups are the way that we get work done. And so you can see from the C credo that um, we establish and support purpose-driven working groups with explicit short-term goals to advance the state of the practice, promote our, our the alliance, and, and can build our community together. And part of our credo is to maintain a technical infrastructure so that those working groups can be successful. They can communicate effectively, um, that they embody the principles of the alliance, and that we govern with transparency. So the expectations, um, both from the executive team and I think to each other, is that we run the working groups based on the principles that we espouse. And one of the reasons why I really love this alliance and this group of people in this community is because it's one of the few places I've ever been involved in where we really walk our talk. We really embody the principles that we believe. If you talk to most people that are active in the Alliance, not only do they apply these principles to their systems development work, they also apply it to most all of their work. And many of us apply it to our personal lives as well. And the working groups that follow these, take advantage of the infrastructure, they've made tremendous progress. So if you go to the 2020 accomplishments on the C Public website, and there's a link in this presentation, you can see the accomplishments that we achieved last year um, just by leveraging this infrastructure and having these working groups. And then the last thing is that, you know, being part of a successful team is a wonderful experience. And that's, that's, that gives people energy to get more involved and to do more. So the purpose of the training today is to describe that infrastructure that's put in place, been put in place for the CE and for our working groups highlight best practices. One of the things that I think is really useful is that you can take every, the, everything that we've done for the C and apply it to virtual or collaborative work that you're doing in other areas. So if you're doing volunteer work within your community or you want to apply this to working groups that you have in your company, we want you to understand why we set it up this way and how it works so that you can adopt this infrastructure in other areas as well. So um, we'll talk first about navigating the Google Drive. That's where we keep all the documents that we work on collaboratively, how to manage working groups, how to run effective virtual meetings and communicate effectively, how to wrap up a working group, and then some pointers to some templates and resources.